What happened in South Africa? Um, hijacked at gunpoint. That's when June and Princess will always know that I would take a bullet for them. When you've got a pillow like that and you're waiting to be shot, you're like that, waiting to hear the bang. So I wouldn't let them near the kids either. It was like a a film. Just getting in the front seat, trying to find the cars, to put the keys in to drive off. Like You know when you watch horror films, you're like, just get in the car, put the keys in, and they're like that for the keys. It was like one of their moments. Like, oh, I can't get the key and I can't, and I really fucking couldn't. And then they come along and took the keys. So then, um, oh, that was just a fucking nightmare, that. My friend still can't see properly out of his eye. It was where they knocked him out in the car, blood everywhere, he was unconscious. And then they just went, but I, we, we all thought we were dead then. A nightmare. Why were you in there? Filming for ITV. Never had therapy for it, never offered it. Um because we went on a different route that the director wanted to go on. And my friend, who's from South Africa, kept saying, no, you don't do that route. Let's stick to the route we've already planned to do. But he wanted to do it for scenery, but it was a place that tourists shouldn't go. And look what happened. So that weren't nice. So if I ever see like a black guy in an Adidas hoodie, it makes me go a bit like that. Like Princess, she don't like being in cars at night. But I now know that if I'm in a car, I like to be quite far behind. If something happens, you can just get out and drive. I don't know. It's still like if I go into a shopping centre and I see security with guns and I'm always a bit like, oh, gives me like a bit of that.